On pause. On pause. I'm not saying my intro because it's too awkward. <laughs> it's just too awkward. Cult of the penis. Dude, I should make it the cult of the penis still. I am with the cult of the uh, penis. So, so this is where I'll just say for so. everyone watching is uh, we do have uh, Skid Row here with his gay-ass Twitch name, and we do have Evelyn as Vemot, and we do have a Brit player who is Ass Swinger and come in my mouth as fucking uh, Americans, because that's how I read that. That's, that's how, how I fucking read it in general. Uh, I mean, normal duck opening, you know, going some motorcycle, but he does something interesting, because I already watched this, like I'm saying this just in general for the fucking video, is I already watched this, and he does something gay here, and then he gets... I feel like uh, I can't spoil it. I can't spoil. We'll see though. No, the doc. The, 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 the doc. Yeah, Skid Row. You just watch. So, so Christensen, typical Panzer Pioneer. Uh, the Wehrmacht player, Evelyn's just going. This is like very basic bitch. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ultra Pioneer, where they just call it off here on the map, build sandbags immediately once they deploy, and the Ken crowd's gonna be capping up really fast. So, Axis gonna gain a lot more ground just faster, just because they have the they have yeah, the, the jeep and the Ken crowd. Allies really don't have that advantage, but they're they technically have better infantry, so it'll it evens out a little bit. Out. You just have to be strategic about it. But Brit goes MG automatically. But see the so, dock player because the speech bags of this. So yeah, he got he goes two of them, and I thought this was interesting. And you'll see how it's gonna like end. <laughs> well, right. I already see the two fifty, so I'm predicting Panzer Pioneers with flamethrowers already. Uh, maybe okay. maybe a double clown car. No. Double clown car is pretty dangerous. What's like this fire. engagement from the bridge? Look at that! Look at that storm pioneer drop. I lulled at this yeah. over here. I, I lulled at that. I was oh, like, "What nice. the fuck? Did you were you were a little bit late." But I think that's he gets a good the... win though. Early game. Oh, what the fact that he pushed off the Vemok. That he right actually the killed the the. I mean, losing oh, yeah. uh, oh, a yeah, yeah, yeah. pioneer hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. <clears throat> Ooh, high ground from Fulton pioneers. That's gonna hurt. That machine gun does not have a chance. I think that's so funny that the, that the high ground actually. Ground. I I yeah. always forget about the high ground in this fucking game, and it's just so cringe sometimes. Like his MG got roasted. Yeah, it hurts. So you're gonna it look at the hurts. south here. So yeah. so so we're gonna look at the south here. So he goes this, and the American is buying anti tank grenades at this moment in time. He's just going ring around the rosy with the half track, yeah. which I really laughed at. And here comes so if the. one half track. It's worth it. There. Oh, that oh, happens. you're gonna. You're he gonna lost a whole fucking Panzer. Yeah, player. yeah. Oh, that, hurts. that hurts a lot. But like, but like this guy just upgraded with the flamethrower. I don't think he was. I, no, I don't think so either. No, but here's he, the thing, a, though. He's got a lot of ammo. See, look, he's gonna kill both half tracks. And this is where I like. Uh, Blue, I know you're a good player, man. I've played against him all the time. I don't know what happened. So, so here's Normal the thing. Here's the. Can he run for my money? Well, here's here's the thing. Now, now, tell me if this is stupid. I think he was playing 5D chess here. You may be saying, well, I'm 5D fucking chess. Because I think he did this on purpose to get the extra command points to get the gustatory. To get it faster. Okay, I think... That, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, to lose those units and gain the experience. Because the thing is, for Italian infantry, I hate this, it's really annoying. Once you unlock gustatory, it costs no CP to get the L6 tank combat group. So yes. I think I already know where you're going with this. So, so yeah. I'm assuming this American's gonna get raped by L6s very soon, because he has a lot of fuel and manpower oh. saved up. Oh yeah, he's he's waiting for it. But I don't. Yeah, he's I don't think the tanks were as effective to BH as watching the replay. But you'll you'll find out and you'll see. But yeah, that's the shitty thing that they don't cost it, and they're really good. Like I, they're going to upload it's a replay suit. It sucks because that tank combat group, it's basically a free get out of jail free card. If yeah. you're really hurting early game and your opponent has no AT whatsoever, you just call them up and you are basically screwed. Grenades are not enough to deal with those vehicles. You need to have bazooka teams or AT guns. But he's always going to get those L6s before you get AT guns. Almost always. So then in that case, but then like, oh yeah, so you called off the... Yeah, the and there, they, yep, there fucking is. But see, now, how do you deal with this, though? Is the only hope is to AT grenade to slow it down and then just N delay no, to get something? I would not, because you risk losing your infantry. The best way is to lay a mine and just have them run over it and then try and swarm it with infantry and throw grenades. Or just back up and wait until you get AT guns. Or, what you could do as Americans in this kind of urban environment, I would go bazooka teams. 
and just yeah, back to WSC. He, he is going to go bazooka teams. Yeah. And he'll see just wiped out his squad there. Yeah, because he's yeah he lost the scout squad, so he knows this guy went. Uh, yeah. L sixes, but the Brit's gonna get fucked now. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna have to run. No boys. Oh yeah, so look at this over here. This guy's playing. Uh, dude, this is so funny. Well, you watch uh, this anti-tank truck. Like, so he got the truck. He was winning, and right now he's playing hide and go seek. But something is going to reveal this AA, which is the funniest shit ever. All right, let me turn off my. Uh... Wow, that's a good juke. Oh, good juke. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the fucking yeah. yeah, dude. He uh, fucking shot it and just dead. revealed it. Yeah, dude, I felt so bad. I was like, dude, he got. I'm, fucked. I'm sure he would find him eventually, though. He was really yeah. hunting for him. But it was funny as shit, dude. I was like, that's a that's a big brain move right there. I was like, damn. Emergency overdrive. So that does hurt right off the bat. Um, he got a shit sling mortar. And well, the, the irony is that the Brit is is paying for it and not the American. That's what sucked. This is what I yeah. despise about Dak. They can just yeah. completely change gears and go to a different part of the map to fuck up another player. And if you mess up one player, that's really all you need oh, to yeah, win especially, the game. If you oh, yeah, can keep one person down, it's always going to be a 2v1. Yeah. And that's what kind of happened here a little bit. You know, like the Brit now is playing super defensively and giving his ally a second wind. And you can see here he does have the American does have the bazooka team with the captain. Um, and he does have AT grenades, which helps. But the, of course, the dock player. See, now he like made that room. And now he's going to get Gustatory. His first one just came off. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of it. And, and the reason why, like, I, it's just such. Me, me and Wilson have been playing, dude, and they're so fucking overpowered. But, like, that's why I suggest to you in text, like, an MG would... Like, an MG, yeah. but not by itself. But it's sort of like... Imagine the MG like an AA half-track. Or you you suggested mm -hmm. the quad, which is actually what I would yeah. suggest now. But, like, I suggested an MG in my original cast only because make it like an AA, be far well, away, but get the suppression off. The American off. player's got double bazooka, so he, he has his counter out. Look at oh, that snipe. L6. That was a yeah, good that's snipe. A, that's a very good snipe. Once you lose one L6, though, from that combat battle group, you really need kind of two of them to be together. Yeah. To kind of have that force projection. If you lose one and it's by itself, it's kind of useless at that point. Yeah, um, I would agree. Um, but I'm guessing he doesn't see the goose to spam yet. No, he up, doesn't. So he's going to have a fun time. That was a decent grenade in the middle. He killed another Stumpania squad. Yeah, I say yeah, Stumpania, yeah. but it's false Stumpania. Uh, so American but player's doing pretty good, though. I mean, he's going through mid, he's capping, he's being annoying. But see, now uh, now he can't do anything against this Gustator because he got two bazookas here in his captain, and he's just going to get roasted. Yeah. Well, what he can do, he can get the... Uh, what's it called? The... Uh, quad? No, Willipede from the bazooka squad to be annoying to this Gustator. Technically, they run faster, but it does slow them down. So Wait, get what? The motor pull. Uh, the uh, from the bazooka teams, they have the phosphorus rounds they can shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's infantry. Oh yeah, yeah. He's he's going to use that um, later on, but it doesn't really help because he was spreading out a little bit to cap out, and it kind of hurt because then the gustatory would kill the bazooka. Obviously, the bazooka squad ain't gonna do shit. So this is why, I, like, boring. I suggested the MG to at least be like an A and suppress, and then his infantry has a chance. But he was super late in actually getting bars, which I think hurt him as well. Mm -hmm. It took them a while to get bars. I also, I don't look like they're in the lead right now. Yes, I don't. I don't like the doctrine. No fuel. I don't like the doctrine he went. I don't think it would help him. Really, to me, it's like, ugh. but I don't know. He it's. I mean, I I like the doctrine personally. I mean, I do. I love Italian infantry. Oh no, I was um, talking about. I'm sorry, I was talking about the American. He went special operations with the. I like special operations too. Um. He's going SS of Commando. Interesting. Um, he really needs those bars, though, for, to yeah. do the Goostas. Or he needs to get infantry upgrades, because, like, double Goostas, that's almost, like, 900 manpower investment. That's not cheap. He's going to suffer because of this. Yeah, exactly. He just gets roasted. Like, yeah. just through these little infantry bullshit, and then he can't do anything. He's got a bazooka, the lieutenant's at half HP, and it's going to take him a little bit, too, to get a medical. Okay, so Greyhound's coming out. That'll, that'll deal with the gooses. <sighs> oh, uh, that was a good white, a decent one, but it didn't really help at all. Yeah, um, But, yeah. Some false shoemakers coming out, the guy coming mid. Brick player. Force back, yeah. Kind of coming in. Completely. Yeah. Americans lacking, or allies lacking a medic station. 
Yes. And this, will... this really bothers me. They need, they need oh, this yeah. really badly. That's, that's the problem. Like, he kept going in a lot of the times, and he would just have no health and still just get more roasted than he would. That was a good suppression. Damn, the plane almost went through the fucking yeah, that map. plane almost fucking died. <laughs> it was fucking phasing through the buildings and shit. I don't think, though, like, it's actually disappointed right there because he uh, suppressed them. The Gustatory mm -hmm. could have stayed and roasted them some more, but he didn't want to risk it, as you said, because of the manpower investment and losing it. But, you know, but let's see, look, this rifleman came in. He had six. He just got destroyed. A third Gustatory. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, look, he planted oh, a mine and the Greyhound died. So he, so the, the Gusta planted the AT mine, which is really yeah. good. Because they're engineers. They're combat engineers. Yeah. So that's so why, that, I mean, we have a steward here, but the guy's never going to chase down any Gustatory, I'll tell you that right now. Um, yes. American was doing really good, but man, he's hurt. He's got a lot of manpower, though. Um, fuck. Oh. Yeah, he's just lacking that fuel right now. That Greyhound loss really sucked. And you know what's funny, though? I never paid attention to it. Oh, he did get the medical station up. Okay, that's what he bought. I was going to say, the medical station Finally. shouldn't cost 20 fuel. I'm going to say that right now. I don't think it should cost 20 fuel, but that's me. Mm. You can that's share it, though. That's what I like about the yeah, spacing yeah, that's distance. So one, All you need is one player to build it, and then, you know, share the investment, share the cost, share the yeah. wealth. <clears throat> but yeah, that's why I feel bad about this guy. He's failing to get bars at the moment, and it just hurts. He's, he's got no fuel. He's pretty fucked. Um, uh, how much is Bars? He's got all the manpower in the world. I, I would call it Commandos. Oh, bars are I, no, I don't know why he's not using Commandos. I think he will get one, but I'm not sure when. Commandos I mean, can can switch between the LMGs and the bazookas. They can deal with the L L6. Can they deal with Gustatory? Yes, but you uh, kind of have to keep them at a distance. So you just you kite with them. You be annoying. So, so what else would you do here? So he has no fuel. Would you get a quad? Not like, like I know you said we get the commandos. Would you get a quad or would you get something else at this at point? At this point, or too bars? late. Because he already lost the Greyhound. He's obviously going to be laying more mines, which I see a Teller mine laid here in the south already. Yeah. From the Gustatories. Uh, he needs anti-infantry firepower. He's got three rifles, so bars would help. Getting bars and then getting survival training upgrade from the infantry support center. That will help his infantry deal with these guys. Because that gives all riflemen, all infantry, extra health for the U.S. faction as a whole. Engineers, interesting choice. He's got almost a thought, like, 900 manpower. He's yeah. not spending it, which is really bothering me. Oh, yeah, he did Captain, call up some commandos. Dead. Commandos, finally, but it took him fucking long enough. Yeah. Skid Row, doing pretty good. I mean, to be honest, he's only going to play Gustatory. Gustatory. And he will get some anti-tank later, but it doesn't really matter because the American isn't really good. He ropes to that fucking engineer. Um, yeah, but those stewards are fucking him up. He's got no counter for those stewards. Yeah, so he's going to get them, but to be honest, it didn't was that effective because really, like, the American didn't do anything, which we'll discuss later, I guess, but... Martyrs, so interesting. So he's finally getting the bars for his rifleman. Yeah. I mean, Americans you know, with all that man cut off. With all that manpower, um, even though he got his engineers roasted, could have built some OPs or something. Or an yeah. OP on that fuel. Well, fuel, yeah, fuel OP would be nice. Ammo uh, OP would also help a lot, actually, as well. Yeah, he's got a lot of ammo, but nothing to call off, really. The Brit player's doing pretty good, though. Warbringer's kind of keeping them in this game right now. Yeah, the Vamok player wasn't as good because, like, I don't know. What is a Vamok strategy? Now, okay, here's an actual question I wanted to ask you that I was stating in my previous replay, but I wasn't really sure. How is Vamok infantry? Is it just garbage all around and you're kind of forced to go full Shimega because they're just no, such an... he's just going full Shimega because Luftwaffe is definitely one of the stronger doctrines out there for the faction. Grenadiers are decent, but they're not good. Like, they... You, know. you need the LMG. And even then, they're like, okay. You need machine guns. They're they're all right infantry, but they kind of... They're supplemented by other infantry. So you get Jaegers, and you have Grants. You have Panzer Grenadiers with Grants, basically. So they're good when they're paired with other units, because you can use the merge ability for them. Oh, okay. Which is really nice, because it saves you a lot of manpower. So um, but they're not good on their own. They're not a unit you really want to spam. Unless you're going for MP40 Grenadiers, then they're actually pretty good in that scenario. 
Ooh, unfortunate. He crewed the Dude, pack very smart. I I wish when I would recruit a peck, it would instantly shoot like this. That's what I wish. Never happens Doug to me. Doug is getting a shot off. He needs to get the fuck out of there. Martyr's ping, pinning him too. Smoke popped out. No, nah, that's too GTFO. Uh, does he have grenades? Ooh, no, he doesn't. No grenade package. Yeah. Very unfortunate from the Brit. Yeah, he, he can definitely get it too, but yeah, he has the resources. Boys will it. definitely. Uh, threaten the Stug, but he's gonna get away with no grenades because he can't damage the engine. If he would have gotten grenades, I think he would have killed the fucking tank. Yeah, he would have killed that shit. Which would have been a really loss good. from the steward, but you can't save everything. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, Blue Skidrow, he does get the Martyr. He'll get two, and then he actually got the armored car, the Rad, which I thought was yeah. interesting. Um, I know, obviously, the Rad is for chase and just to kill more infantry because the Americans oh, just going. The Eight Rad has a unique thing called command mode and it can use this on the move when it gets a vet one and it basically increases the accuracy and the sight range of all vehicles actually is it uh weapon teams and vehicles for that so they pair that in kind of like an anti-tank blob so the martyrs become like super martyrs where they can shoot and they're very accurate and they can see everything basically oh okay i see and that's i the thought meta. I thought the rad was just for chasing down infantry, or at least being a little I bit mean, more. Yeah, but. you can use it to chase down and hunt infantry, but it's mainly just getting that vet one ability, really. So how is the Stug? I mean, the one thing I always feel bad about in real life is that the Stug is great, but in Company of Furious, the Stug always sucks, and this guy actually went Stug, but I feel like the Stug just lacks damage and range. Stug G with the anti-tank 75 is meant to take on and tackle vehicles, so a Stug well, will yeah. definitely kill... The Stuart. Against infantry, it's okay. You're going to rely oh, more yeah. on the pimple mounted machine gun. It's cheap, though. It's a cheap, it's a good cheap unit. I like oh, it. I'm going to look at it. How cheap is this piece of shit? I hate that I can't double click on that. 60 fuel. Ooh, yeah, it's not manpower. that cheap. Well, in terms of fuel, it's not that cheap, at least in yeah. my opinion. Look at that gustatory raping those bars so good. Yeah, Americans. Yes. He's just piecemeal. The piecemeal hurts. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, so yeah. he does get a Did chappy. So this is the funny part. He gets a chappy. <clears throat> uh, I mean, and I can see why he went chaffy to help deal with the 8 rad. But yeah, he's going to run into the this. Markers, yeah, he's got the teller. Yep, yeah, there it is. He yeah. he didn't learn the first time from the first uh, yeah. Greyhound getting hit. So if... You know, number one rule, if you get hit by one mine, assume your opponent is smart enough to build more. And you have to have an engineer with a minesweeper. He did have an engineer earlier, but I think he died. And yeah, Chappie gets mm. fucking annihilated, so... Yeah, so that's why I feel bad, like, his light, whole light shit just got... He was roasted. doing good. He was doing good early game, but now he's kind of, you know, flip... Kind of stumbling right now. So now, uh, this is where I would have said... I would have, like, in, if I was playing with my low skill, I would have avoided the Chaffee at all costs. I would have tried to have gotten a Sherman ASAP at this point. I would have thought the Sherman could deal with the infantry, could deal with his gay little shit. It's close quarter enough to work it. You, you what? would still hit, hit the Teller mine with the Sherman. But and at least it, it would survive. Because it's a, no, damaged engine. And you would just get Does hunted Tellermine? down by a martyr. Does Teller mine actually damage the engine? Because it's yes. a Teller mine? Oh, okay. That's cool. Yes, it's a Teller. It's like the Regal mine from Co2. Oh, You're okay. always going to guaranteed, uh... Willipede's doing work, though. Be annoying. He has so much infantry right now that I would really, in this state, I would just invest in survival training and advanced logistics in terms of fuel costs and just get more infantry at this point for the American. And then just save up until you can get uh, the whiz banks. Because what I like about the whiz banks, if you get them to vet one, you can actually pop off their uh, rocket turret and you can make it into a regular Sherman. So you basically get a free Sherman without having to build tank depot. And that saves oh. you a lot. Because it's 120 fuel to build that fucking building just to get it in yeah. the first place. Uh, so look, he learned. He's got fucking minesweepers now. Only too little too late. Yeah, that's why I said in my original repo, I was like, eh, I would have never gone that. You already got screwed. And we do see a Nebelver for coming out, which I think is normal. Yeah. Oof. I mean, Brit was carrying this, but uh, Nebelwerfer is going to put a lot of pressure on him. What is your thought as well. on the fact that this guy actually got a Crusader 3 against a Stug? 
Uh, I mean, Crusader will win against the Stug. It's got it. If it gets a six pounder upgrade gun, it can take it on and just circle strafe it. But he's got to be aware of packs. Hmm. And the ca packs are that one, so they get the camo ability, which is going to be dangerous because it does bonus damage. And he just took off half health from that fucking Crusader. Yeah. <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> Crusaders, it's better than a Sherman, but it's cheaper too. So, very meta just to go, just to spam Crusaders once you get to that point. If I was the Brit, uh, since he has Gurkali, I would like to see foot guards from him. If you mix Gurkali infantry with uh, foot guards, it can be a very nasty combo. Damn, you know, this Brit card has a thousand manpower. Oof. Does he? Yeah. Oh man, he, dude. He needs to train those. Look at this rad. Guards. Look at this rad. He just he killed like two infantry uh, riflemen that we didn't see because I missed it, and then he's backing away. It looks he like I two. dropped a bazooka. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. But he got that vet one ability now, so it's going to be a lot harder for him to deal with uh, martyrs and other vehicles. But yeah. Allies are still holding this game. I mean, they've got a VP lead. They still have control of half the map, but... But the way with the American just rough. getting slaughtered, it just kind of mm -hmm. sucks. Yeah, well, the Brit's under pressure, too, now, from the Noble Warfare. He just lost the Mortar. Yeah, he just kind of said... The Mortar had, like, three health, like, three people in it, so he never, like, actually got more healthy or retreated it, which kind of sucked, I think, but... I shrugged my shoulders. Um... What he spend is oh he's oh he's getting Matilda interesting yeah that's one thing I felt kind of bad but like I'm like oh the Matilda would be great but yet he's just gonna waddle in there presumptuously against two Stugs and a hidden pack somewhere ah uh, does he lose it like in the uh, first fucking engagement no he doesn't no he doesn't no he doesn't okay. ooh triggered that mine with that bazooka in the middle yes. yeah. ooh Crusader playing with fire. Brit OP the ammo, which is good. OP was finely needed. American looks like he's going top to help out his teammate because he just can't win against Gusatori in the south here. He's. I feel bad for him. Really? Yeah, he's really fucked up. So, and so he only has one SSF. I would have yeah. gotten more. And it kind of sucks that he only and he has like um, two bazooka squads and only one rifleman, which hinders his anti infantry capabilities, I think, a little bit. I don't know if he actually got the upgrades that you. No, so. oh, well, actually, did he? You can tell. No, not this has not enough resources. He yeah, didn't spend no. anything on it. Uh, I. But at least, though, Skid Row is seeing this now, and he's like, oh, man, I'm coming up top, because he's the double team. Yeah. At least he knows, like, okay, I'm rolling. Yeah. I mean, they did push yeah. the guy back, but it's not really going to do that much, because I know the Gustatory are going to come in and kind of just roast him. Your girls are fucked against, uh... Eight red. Uh, he got another Gurkhas. Oh. That smoke, though? Elite smoke? <laughs> that was not... A, I mean... <sighs> I get why he went to other Gurkhas to deal with the Falschemakers and all the infantry from the Wehrmacht player, but... Lol, this Crusader, man. <laughs> yeah. Shit, you're gonna hunt him down, but martyrs no, are yeah, gonna make their way back. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's gonna get blapped here. I already know. And the double oh, shook. Oh, he's fucked. He's fucked. Yeah. I mean, the rad died, but I don't know if it was worth it for the... That was not a good trade. I mean, no. 8 rad he can just replace. He's probably going to make another one right now. Yeah, and 70 so, like, fuel for a Crusader hurts. Look at this Gustatory. Superior Italian infantry. Woodstock would be proud. Mm -hmm. Look at that roast. Oh, God. Gurkha's Disgusting. All threat, though. Gurkha's will fuck up. Um, That's suppression, though. suppressed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, so I think... engineers oh, you're could gonna watch be this. a counter. Wait, watch this, watch this, watch this. Hold on. Oh, God. No, wait, wait, watch this, watch this. Wait, wait, hold on. Watch, let's just watch this middle part. Just look at this. Look at this. He just he just sat there and just took all that damage. And yeah. he's just like, yeah. I'm like, where were you looking at, bro? I should... Yeah. Did he fucking... Oh, my God. He yeah. fucking <laughs> real estate wrong. Oh, uh, fuck. I mean, the three gooses are perfect in this environment. I would use the same thing, but... I think it's just more the American player just not realizing the threat. Yeah, he oh, fumbled. Oh, God. Matilda getting the fuck out of there, yeah. 
they will lose definitely to martyrs but i kind of lulled though you know what i you know what i thought of like man he should have just bought more mg-ness because look it actually suppressed and he was like okay now he could he's just gonna retreat now which saves yeah but now it's gonna get bombarded by a fucking nubble warfare Dude. oh there it is yeah <laughs> but it's not it's not gonna get rid of the mg emplacement actually which is funny oh uh, it's hit um, it'll take time I would just uh, just fucking uh, own coastal defenses, Americans. Spam yeah. MGness. Yeah, access looking good in terms of fuel. Oh man, he's got he's got 250 fuel. He's got a lot. Who the Skid Row? Oh, he's um, he's actually going to get um, here. Yeah, take a good bit. That's it doesn't, what I would do. Yeah, it doesn't really matter actually at this point if you were to get it or not because in my eyes like it's already over. I mean, there's a comeback that to be made, but just the fact that the Americans are getting roasted by the Gustatori. All he needs to do is wipe one or two Gustatoris and he'll regain the advantage. It's not going to happen. I don't know. Um, I don't see it happen, especially with him not doing the upgrades or that he doesn't have enough riflemen. It's just not um, going to you know. I also question the Brit going Matilda. I mean, I like the Matilda in dealing with infantry, but double Stugs are definitely a threat to it, and he's got packs, and he's got Nebelwerfers too. I would have liked to have seen him actually build a BL-5 artillery emplacement in base. Just one. All he needs is just one to counter barrage the enemy and kill support weapon teams. Um, this is the one thing that I found. Sorry, I was kind of like daydreaming. The one thing that made me mad is that this guy actually went the Sherman whiz bang, and I kind of cringe still because the way he used it, it there was literally no point. No point. What there, did he do? It was nothing. It literally did nothing. It was the most useless call. That's why I suggested like him just going a Sherman outright. At least he would have gotten some value, possibly, out of it. Yeah. Oh, he, has, more oh, he, oh he built Tank Depot. Oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. He built the Tank Depot, but then went the fucking Sherman. So I was like, why? No one listens to my advice. <laughs> well, uh. I mean, if he shotguns with the Whizbang, he can wipe out a Gustatory. So I, I think he's going to try and do that right now. Um, Yeah, he did it too late, though. Not going to happen. You got to be really on top of the micro for that. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said it was like a complete fail. And then and the martyrs coming up. And now martyrs gonna change. Yeah, Chase. So much roasted. Look at that. It's fucking destroyed. <sighs> he even has double bars on those riflemen, but it's not yeah. enough to kill him. Uh, martyrs working into a world of pain. Uh, can he kill one? Oh, he smokes. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, and then the ally called uh, in the strafe. Fucking panzer tactician, basically. Yeah, so I I'm gonna say like the Wehrmacht kind of struggled early game, but he's kind of the one in the lead carrying this game. Um, it was all all of Skid Row stuff mainly, just the Goose Tours are the one propelling him to victory right now. But it's more about the American player just fumbling and the Wehrmacht player making the right calls in terms of unit composition, because this is really good. He's got the Stugs, he's got the Nebel to harass, he has air support, allies do not have any kind of AA whatsoever, because they lost the, uh, what's it called? The truck. Yeah. Earlier. So, yeah, that airstrike is just threatening everything. Not much they can do. And he gets an AT gun. Oh, man. Oh, wait, who? The Brit guy? No, or... American. Where? With a nipple warfare out there from the Vermont. It's just, you know, threaten uh, that. So... Oh. Well, you know, that's why I didn't didn't like his doctrine. I would have chosen something different, but... Oh, he recruised this shitslinger mortar. The fucking uh, Brit guy. I lulled. It's good. I oh, yeah, it's good, but, like, does he have enough manpower? Is there, isn't yeah. there something else that he should be building that's not that... Matilda you know. walks into a trap. Oh, oof. <laughs> Bounce. Yeah. Skidrow paying attention pulls the machine gun the fuck out of there. Yeah, but interesting. Still... He gets leaflet airburst. That's pretty good, actually. It suppresses everything. Victory point lost. The enemy has control. Yeah, this is still nice. 
<laughs> and a gustatory running through fucking with Pete. God damn. I like how he still kept his martyrs all the way back here with an MG just for shits and giggles and just, just roasted the... Yeah. I'm surprised those fucking commandos lived, to be honest. Very surprised. Um, lack of grenades from the American and no, uh... What's it called? The rifleman ability. Fire or pour it on them. I don't know why he got sprint. Shit mortar is dead. Wood guards will definitely fuck up Gustatori. Oh yeah, he runs the fuck out of there. I I feel sorry for this for Warbringer. He did really good, but he's trying to carry his teammate by fighting both the DAC and the Wehrmacht. There's only so much he can fucking do. Panzer IV is out now, and these Matildas are... Oof. I mean, the Matildas can kind of kill the Panzer IV, but it's going to take a lot of effort and work. It's like watching oh, yeah. turtles fuck. Pretty much, and then you're never going to push through this little bridge with two other Stugs and yeah. a pack now. Yeah. Like, it's fucking... And Nepal for doing work. Oh, foot yeah, guards wipe! Dude, Oof, he just he paying attention. Yeah, he just left it there. I was like, what the fuck? And then oh yeah, wait, but don't worry about that. We have the Calliope here. We have the Calliope. It's gonna win the game, don't worry. Oh, he almost gets the Stug. Oh, that's very unfortunate. I know. But he kills the AT gun, I mean. <laughs> really, but like this should have been done like 20, 25 minutes ago. Yeah. That pack has got so much value out of it. American floating eight hundred manpower. Brit is just spent. He has spent everything to keep themselves in this game. But I feel bad, man. So much he can I, do. I feel bad for the fumble. The poor fumble from the American. I feel bad. Skid Row just sitting on all the fucking fuel and... Oh, yeah, he's getting the tiger, which... Yeah. yeah. He's just sitting on oh, it, which is fine. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, Lord, it's tiger's coming. Tiger's going to be the final nail in the coffin. I can't really see which way the wind is blowing this game, though. I, uh... Our allies did good really like early game and then mid game they were just killing it but you know in the later game phase it just uh, turned out to be a fumble Ripper Rooney god damn Ripper Rooney Pepper Rooney you know you know what I was thinking of like this is the one thing that, that makes me mad about relic is that mm -hmm. obviously we both know that the balance is completely trash, but there's I feel like there's certain things that could require like one week of testing and just implement it. Like for example, gustatories that they're so disgusting that like can't you just make it to where all flamethrowers can't fire when you're walking and they only get one? Like why? Or or instead of make like at least the light tanks two CP or something. You know what I mean? Like. All these yeah. kind of things to at least help yeah. to level out the playing field instead of feeling cheap and disgusting. Well, you, you have to realize, though, that most of this balancing does not revolve around team game for twos, threes, and fours. Most of the decision making is going to be based off of 1v1 matches. That's and that's why you see, oh my god, this poor Matilda. Dude, oh, was... will he make it? Oh, smoke from his buddy. 420 oh, blizzard everybody. Yeah, he is. Uh, did he cancel that? No, he did. That pursuit, Oof. though? I don't know. Yeah, the American just given up completely on his side as well. He's not, he just let him cap to everything. But then, you know, I would like to look at statistics and see, do is the majority of players in Company Furious only playing 1v1? You know what I mean? Are you catering to the majority? Or are you catering to the small amount of people who enjoy the 1v1 content? Like then yeah. then you would just then yeah. you would just keep a separate client for 1v1 for tournaments and just have people who want to actually play the tournaments play on that. And avoid making shit for the rest of everyone else. At least that's that my sucks. opinion, but Dude, this this Calliope makes me so fucking mad. God damn. Yeah, but he I don't know, he's just not migrating a while. I don't, not I don't even know that. What he was at. It was to me. Oh, he was aiming at an MG, but like he, uh, Skid Row was paying just, attention, and he just yeah, bounced. he's paying attention. He's on top of it. So I, I got to give the deck player credit, though. Oh yeah, he playing. wasn't like his skill wasn't the issue. But to me, when you say like, oh yeah, it was a skillful match, but you're playing Gustatory, you're you're. I mean, okay, the American fumble, but still, to me, it's like I don't fucking know. It's like going OKW with fe like you know um, support guns. I mean, and American American did pretty well with the grenades and realizing the danger for the two fifties. 
killing both of those helped a lot for his early game. So. Uh, I mean, I, like I said, I know it sucked that he lost his stuff to mines, but at that point, like you said, you should have just been like, okay, I'm going to go infantry. Yeah. I'm going to upgrade, yeah. get the upgrades. I'm going to get more bars. I'm going to roast this dude alive, you know, use my grenades. Yeah. I mean, and, he's and, got four Gustatories. Like, damn, yeah. that's a lot of fucking manpower. Yeah. He's and getting so, he's a loser. That that will definitely counter Gustatory. Well, yeah, but that's the one thing that kind of sucked, though. Imagine if he actually went Bulldozer earlier and focused yeah. that instead of going something. There's a lot of things, if, and, or buts. You know, I understand playing the game in essence and, like, totally being focused on one thing. But a Sherman, a Bulldozer, I understand the mine aspect. But, come on, we could have could have tried a little bit better than that kind of stuff. But now well, it's really pretty much a little bit too late. I mean, looking back at it, he did try to go Greyhound. The, mo the one mine in the beginning yeah. was very unfortunate for him. I would have um, never gone Chaffee. Fuck the Chaffee tank. I, I understand, yeah. but I would never I love gone Chaffee, much. though. I love, it, it's good for its role, but people don't realize what it should be used for. He gets a long range rocket barrage. Interesting. Not what I gone for, but okay. Also, I would have picked a different doctrine for uh, this guy. Probably could have gone Rangers. What's your favorite, Rommel, for I like US doctrine? <sighs> To be honest, yeah. like, the, the one thing I don't like playing with Woodstock and Depp is, like, Woodstock wants to learn all the factions, as I've told you, and I just want to keep playing American to keep getting better. You know, like, you okay... Learn, learn with one faction, start with yeah. it, and then, then expand yeah, and after then, that. And then slowly expand, but I really like Rangers only, not because of Rangers in of themselves, just because I like the buff that you get after 3 CP with the Rangers. They, yeah, I don't like the RNG... I don't like the RNG with the 90 whatever munitions it is because sometimes you get a bazooka, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get a flamethrower, which is great, but I think that's kind of ghetto. Um, my only problem with playing with rangers, I like the forward medical HQ. I think this is great, but it does take some time to get out and position it properly, which kind of hurts because you need to save it a little bit, but Ooh, I like rangers. Those are like the fucking machine gun off the face of the earth. That's That was definitely something good. I just want to see the shirt. Look at Finally, look at this. The Gustatory taking damage. Holy shit. But, yeah. dude, that fucking Luftwaffe with all those pinning, man. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah Vermox really leading the game right now with those airstrikes. There's not much allies can do with it. With yeah. that I mean, it's He's it's over. really trying to cap, but yeah. He, there's a Tiger in mid. He's got no AT. Yeah. Foot guards by themselves are not enough to take on a Tiger. At least not one squad. He needs more. Um, yeah. So and sad. Brit can't push out and take out the Vermont player. The the biggest ridicule for the American, he did not get any of the important infantry upgrades. He got the he got the mind laying, which is nice, and he got the cheaper weapons, which allow him to buy bars at thirty ammo instead of sixty, which is nice, and cheaper flamethrowers. But he didn't buy the manpower one, which saves you manpower, and the other one that increases the health of all of your infantry. Because that would have helped him deal with the Gustatories, and that's how he lost. I agree. To Gustatory and Martyrs. Brick Eye did good, though. I mean, he fucking spanked the Wehrmacht player. They were able to take mid, but yeah. after his American teammate got fucked, he had to fight both the DAC player and the Wehrmacht player while getting bombarded by Nebelwerfers. Let's assume this. What would you get instead of getting the Matildas? If you knew, like, the, the enemy player, had a Stug, yeah. If he had a Stug, meaning he's going to probably make more and he's going to have a lot of good AT, I would just go more foot guards. Mm. Honestly. I think some players you, make that mistake you too. Could, what you could do, I I mean, the problem is he had Nibble first, so like 17 pounder would not be the best choice. It's definitely really good, yeah. um, but not an urban map. It's actually, it can be flanked. But just getting a really regular AT gun so you can move it around or or just get more foot guards and mix them in with Gurkhas. Because he went for that uh, the Indian doctrine. Yeah. And at the very last uh, end of the tech tree for that one, you get cheaper reinforcement rate. So oh. you save a lot of manpower. So you can field a bigger army, basically, and have a shit ton of infantry. Brit definitely won the infantry war early on against the Wehrmacht player, but... After having to go to mid and help out with the DAC, he kind of let the Wehrmacht solidify, and he just kept that fuel and kept that VP, and he never got it back after that. So, What a great insight, Matthias. The praise. The you praise. are the new Depot, sort of, but you don't have a headless uh, fucking icon. Mm -hmm. Fucking dip. <laughs>